we woke up and my mama was all over the place. Like, yo, we leaving. Like, yo, like, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Since the storm, it seems like everybody just moved on. In America, especially during disaster, black children are not even a thought. Have you ever, like, talked about this before? No, I haven't. Why are you that? I don't know, nobody not really, didn't really ask me. Hurricane Katrina caused one of the biggest disbursements of black people in history. After losing so much, why wouldn't anyone ask if we were okay? Nobody ever asked the children how they were doing. So I am. Katrina babies, take one. one can explain, nor can Friday, I was at school, walking the hallways with my friends. By Monday, I was on top of fucking roof. Everything you consider as part of who you are was reduced to a trash bag. Am I gonna die? I don't know. I just was like, I'm not supposed to be here. The New Orleans that we knew was gone. When I got back after Katrina, I naively thought that everything was going to be normal again. The feel of community in New Orleans is different now. Your neighborhood was crucial to who you were. What we knew to be true is gone. Think about what that does to a community. It destabilizes it. I feel like nobody should be that young going through shit like that. They're at home and they don't feel safe. What does that do to our children? It wreaks havoc on their well-being. Katrina is becoming a folktale, and we're the storytellers. Resilience is when you still find a way to have your head up and help yourself. Sometimes I feel like resilience is used as a tool because they want people to think, oh no, everything is okay, these people are good, like they're strong, look at how much they've overcome. It's for me to say when I'm resilient, it's for me to say what is resilient, it's not for you. Being able to tell my Katrina story has been part of my healing process. Even though we are resilient, we can never get back what was lost. Oh, 